name is Quinn Bauer. I've been traveling the land of Chinaris for a long time now, trying to find a way to communicate with my family outside. I'm just a 30-year-old country singer from Nashville, Tennessee, U.S. of A. What did I do? I came here on a tour with my band. We got stuck in the middle of the chaos. The dead ones, they stood. I was able to escape the troubles going down in Electro, leaving behind my whole crew. I'm not sure if any other survived, but I did end up finding Val Bradley, my guitarist, right after Lieutenant H.H. H. Burke saved my life. Over time, I made some friends. but I also made some enemies. I was finally able to communicate with the outside world. I spoke with my wife and my daughter. Soon after I was shot and ran away, I was able to write a note with Joseph's name on it. I stuffed it inside my teddy bear in the hopes that one of the guys would find it in the event that I would die. My worst fear happened. I turned into a dead one. And Val had to put me down. No one saw the note. But at least, within death, I found true salvation. My name's Eddie Beck. Who am I? I don't know. That depends. But usually, I'm the guy that's hiding. I'm the guy you don't see. I'm the kind of guy that likes to take precautions. I don't easily trust people, because I don't even trust myself. But if you mean before this life, I'm just a guy from Cleveland, Ohio. 31 years old. I had a shitty childhood. My father was an asshole. My mother ended up killing him. You know, textbook. I was put in so many foster homes I, I can't even count them anymore. I talked to myself a lot. I was alone, for Christ's sake. I think what scared the people was that I answered my own questions. They made me see doctors and therapists. Well, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. I know, right? Fucking schizophrenia. But as long as I was on my meds, I'd be alright, and, and I was. Graduated in marketing and communications, and ended up being a big shot music producer. That's what landed me here. The place sucks, but the pay was really good. But that doesn't matter anymore. come to a time where I need to get out. I need to start looking into cities, little towns, try to get more supplies. I can't really survive so long and I haven't been finding any camps lately. So I started looting all night. Throughout the next day I traveled for a little bit. On the way I was able to find cattle. And you don't pass up cattle when you see it. 
Sometimes I like to wonder why it's so easy for me to gut these things. That's when I found the note. At the time, it seemed like it was a good idea to head to Altar. There was a bed. For Christ's sakes, I've been waiting for so long to sleep in a bed. Huh, what's this? That teddy bear. That hat. So familiar. It appeared to be laying on a grave. With no disrespect to the deceased, I had to look at the teddy bear. I took it and noticed that there was a note inside. Dear reader, if you're reading this, then it means that I am dead or worse. Turned into a dead one. As I write this, I am dying. Slowly. I'm trying to make my way back to my group in Altar, but I fear that I may not make it. Please, if you might be so kind to deliver a message to them. Their names are Val, Bert, Carl, JT, Trader Jack, Buddy, and Link. I was shot by a man named Joseph Hodge. He has turned on me for some reason. A man I knew and trusted before. I fear for the lives of my friends or anyone across his path. Oh, and I finally contacted my wife and daughter in the U.S. They are safe, with the infection spreading all over the world. Please tell them. I beg of you, Quinn Bauer. This was very upsetting news for me. Quinn used to be the artist I was producing and managing. I was the reason why he was here. But I was just hoping that Val was still in Altar, or anyone for that matter. And let's not forget about Joseph now. I am going to find that man. And oh, it won't be pretty. Where are you coming from, stranger? Uh, uh, a little everywhere, I guess. Originally from Ohio. But I've been mainly off the radar for the past five, six months. I don't, I don't know anymore. I stopped counting a while ago. Just trying to stay away from the biters. <laughs> and uh, looking for some old friends. Uh, that sun is uh, going down pretty quick and... I'd hate to be out here when it does. Well, do you want to give me a hand? I was gathering some fire. Sure. Uh, why not? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Should we take two on? I've, uh, got a little question for you. Um, up there. I, I just came from up there, and, uh, I saw a hat. A cowboy hat and a, a pink teddy bear. Yeah. There, our friend, uh, Quinn. Quinn? He passed away some time ago. He wouldn't happen to be a country singer called Quinn Bauer. Uh huh. Why? Alright, just trying to understand here, but you're telling me that there's a man buried up there by the name of Quinn Bauer. So that's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. And I suppose that note was true. I found a note inside that bear. It had his name on it. I really didn't want to believe it. Hey, listen. That, uh, that note. It had another name on it. Apparently he was shot. I'm correct. Yeah. Well, Quinn said in that note that he was shot by a man called Joseph Hodge. What? Yes, Mr. Burke. It says it right on the note here. Joe, I don't need to know. I know that name. <coughs> Joseph Hodge. So I you know the little fucker that killed Quinn? Pardon my language. Are you sure that it's not some form of a nickname? Oh, no, no, I assure you it's not. Listen, I'm coming clean here. I was Quinn's manager and producer. I brought Quinn here and the whole team, and when everything went down, we got separated. I'm pretty sure Quinn thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. When I got away, all I could think of is, what if Quinn is still alive or anybody else from the band? I spent a good part of the last six months trying to find Quinn, <laughs> but all this is like bittersweet. I'm happy he got away, he stayed alive for a while, but I'm sad. I'm really sad, and, and it's not like nature defeated him or those biters got to him. No, he was killed. Needless to say, I was really upset with what was going on. The guys caught me up with everything, the stuff they went through and they had to deal with. 
They confirmed to me that Val Bradley is still alive. Don't tell them this, but I actually thought he would have died first. I don't know why, but it's marvelous news. It was just me and Carl in Altar. Morning. Oh, hey. Burke was gone. Uh, go get the other guys. Well, uh, mind if I, uh, I have some of this grub? <laughs> I'm very hungry. Thank you. Where do you want to head, uh, after you too? Ah, well, uh, I am kind of thirsty, uh, I don't have anything to drink, and, uh, I'm gonna need something really soon. So, uh, if you know of a place, uh, I, I'd, I'd, I'd go there. It was apparently a water pump close by in Novi, so we made our way there. <coughs> yeah. You alright? He's been coughing a lot. Soon! Oh! No, no, nothing. Ah, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get lost in my head, you know? Yes, alright. It was time to take my medication. What? Yeah, in your hand. What are those? Oh, these. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, nothing. Carl told me that uh, Mr. Burke had contacted him on radio, wanted me to absolutely meet him. So I went on the road to Grishino, where he wanted to meet. He appeared to be with some people. Hello? That is, uh... Mr. Burke. Yes, that's you. And... Oh my god. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What? What the... Val? Gosh. What? Eddie. This is... Well, this... This is amazing. You did survive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I... I... I saw you guys run and uh, you kind of left me behind. I understand though, it's it's okay, it's uh, nothing personal. I mean, they were trying to bite our heads off, right? And, and all those guys shooting and... We didn't think you... we didn't think you made it. I almost didn't. Uh, you know, I... Well, you know my lucky pen, right? Uh, I had to kind of use that to, to stab one in the eye there and get free. I was kind of stuck there on a the bus, but uh, I was able to make it out and... Uh, I was hiding, uh, I was hiding all over the place, you know, in the woods and stuff, and, uh, and trying to keep my head down, because those biters were everywhere, and people, uh, the stuff I've been seeing, and uh, let's just say I kind of avoided people for a while, and until I started to think maybe you guys survived as well. well I'm glad to see you. I really am. That's a good day. It's good to see you too, Eddie. So we caught up a bit. I guess we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much on foot now, are we? And here I was thinking I was gonna get a ride after six months of walking. Looks like I'll be walking some more. So how you been, Val? Like how you been holding up, like mentally, man? <laughs> I mean, it, 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 shit, well, not, it's, it's not easy. Oh, uh, heads up, heads up. Down oh down. shit! Oh, right. she's down. All right. Maybe I should be more. I should yeah, be more quiet. I got, I got him. Don't waste your bullets. Oh, he's coming for you, man. Right. Might have to. Got him. All right. Well, All right. To answer your question, there, Eddie. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's been tough since since Quinn passed. Behind you. Behind you. Yeah. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. And this is when it happened. See, this is why I don't go, uh, I didn't go to towns much, you know? Yeah. Well, I happen to have more than I need always one way to my first one. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Oh, 
Another one. Jakey! Oh crap! <laughs> 